Hi, I'm Charlie Arturola, and today we're going to talk how to open a bottle of wine. But before we open a bottle of wine, I would like to tell you a little bit about this great bottle that we have here. It's a Chianti Rufina from the Castello Nipozzano, from the Frescobaldi family, one of the oldest families making wine in Tuscany. Um, sometimes people ask me, uh, when I go to a wine party, why would I can't a bottle of wine? And I always said, depends the grape. In this case, um, Chianti Rufina from Toscana is 100% uh, Sangiovese. It's a very um, astringent type of grape. It's a, a very, uh, like some people would call it rough, but the wine needs to breathe. And this is probably one of the perfect uh, examples today that we're gonna show you how to open a bottle of wine. But before I talk about that, I would like to talk about the Sangiovese grape itself. Uh, Chianti uh, Rufina from uh, Nipozzano, from the family of Frescobaldi. They have been making wine from uh, the 1400. Why the uh, Frescobaldi today is the most important, I will say, families making wine in, in Tuscany. Uh, Italians has been making wine for maybe more than 2,000 years, but when we talk about the Nipozzano, it represents a very small area where this wine is made. Um, as I said before, this is a Sangiovese. We see the, the lovely little uh, government stamp right here that tells you this is a wine from a region that is guaranteed and controlled by the government. The pink label right here that tells us this is one of the soup regions where Chianti is made in Tuscany. But we're gonna talk a little bit how we open the bottle of wine. Of course, there's many ways, but we're gonna show you a little bit more uh, when we start right now. So we go around the neck with the cutter of the wine opener. Try to get an even cut in order to make the foil. This is a perfect cut. Now we're gonna use the worm of the wine opener to penetrate the cork in the center, you see over here. I remember my old days working on the cruise line, I opened maybe a hundred bottles every hour. So you got to be quick and fast and try to please the whole crowd. So I'm trying to place the bottle on the table because this is important to make the next step. What I do over here, if you see, the worm penetrates the cork, almost 95% of the cork. This is almost nine millimeters here. What we're trying to do is to bring the wine, uh, the, the, the wine opener to the neck of the bottle gently. We're gonna make one step, two step, but how, how do I know it's a long cork? Of course, this is a very pricey bottle of wine and uh, come from an area that I'm very familiar with. So I know that this cork is quite a bit long. So I'm gonna try to penetrate again the, the worm into the, the cork. And I'm gonna do another step so I have one more time to go into the neck of the bottle and just pull gently the cork. Voila, 